when you lock your kid outside so you can record this vlog. <laughs> I decided to throw on my pajamas, record a vlog for you guys, and get this up for my Friday weekly vlog. So this week's topic is why I chose a home birth versus a hospital birth for this baby. So there's three main reasons why, for myself personally, I chose a home birth. A little disclaimer before we get into this video, I want to I wanna say that these are just my opinions. I'm not a medical professional, I'm just stating why for myself a home birth was a better option. Um, I don't go into statistics, like I said it's just an opinionated video, um, it's not right or wrong, it's just my opinion. So with that being said, let's get started. So my first reason why I chose a home birth instead of a hospital birth for this baby was I wanted my toddler to be involved. Many of you might not know this, but I'm actually a birth photographer, so I've been to home births, hospital births, I've yet to go to a birth center birth, um, but I've been able to see really the difference between the two, and there's no right or wrong, there's no better option, I just think for me personally, I, I a home birth is better for myself. Um, so with my first, I had a really easy birth for a first time mom. I went into active labor around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Things started to pick up. Um, I basically went to the hospital around five o'clock and they admitted me, I was five centimeters. And from five to nine, I went from a five centimeter to a nine and a half centimeter. Um, they broke my water and I started pushing and she was born at 9.31 p.m. So I was in the hospital a total of four and a half hours of, for just the delivery part. Um, and I got super blessed because I was able to really follow the birth plan I had um, created. Everything was super textbook almost. Um, the only thing that I didn't get to have happen on my birth plan was the delayed cord clamping. That was because she came out and the cord was wrapped around her neck twice. Um, but she was, she was healthy, happy, and that's all I can really ask for. I was truly so blessed. Um, okay. Yeah, I got to do it all natural. Like I said, I was really quick. Um, and that was at a hospital. So back to the reasoning as to why I am choosing a home birth. Um, I really wanted my toddler to be there for the birth. I wanted her to be there for when I'm in labor, for when the baby gets here. Um, and I really noticed in a hospital setting, it's not, it's not really suited for kids. Um, they either, you know, come in after to see the baby or Sometimes hospitals won't even allow it in the labor unit. It just depends. So for me, my daughter is my world, and it's so important for me to have her be there. Um, that being said, it's a lot easier to, like, if my mom is here, she can help me with her if she's up. We're, we're going to be at home, which to me is really important because it's where we're comfortable, where she's comfortable. So I'm not going to be taking her out of her comfort zone, trying to drag her into a hospital or anything. Thanks. And to me, that's important. So that's number reason, <laughs> number number one of my reasoning into choosing a home birth. Um, I wanted her to be there. So number two, I took notes because I'm seriously, I'm like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be ready for this vlog. Number two, um, I want to know my birth team from start to finish. So the huge difference for me, actually at the start of this pregnancy, I had cho cho chosen a midwife um, that actually practices out of a hospital. She's amazing. I absolutely love her. Um, I feel like I, I would be in good hands whether I just decided a hospital birth or a home birth. But when I started um, you know, talking more and asking questions about what who would be at my birth with me, the midwives at the hospitals, they come in when, um, they'll come in and check on you, of course, you know, and whatnot, but they come in mainly for the part where you're ready to push and baby is ready to come earth side. So for me, when I, when I started doing, when I started asking questions about home births um, and interviewing midwives, I noticed the main difference that was important to me was that I knew who was going to be at my birth. Um, from the moment that I called them and told them, hey, like I'm in active labor, you guys need to get here, to two hours you know, after delivery when baby's getting 
her cord clamped, cut, you know, we've done all the weigh-in stuff. They're there um, from start to finish, essentially. And to me, I really like that. I like to know who I'm having in my room, in my house, room, whatever it may be. To me, that's so important because I don't want five million nurses coming in and out. I'm a very picky person while I'm especially in labor. Um, and I'm strong on my beliefs. Um, I really want a natural birth and I, I got to do that with her so I'm doing it again with this one and I loved it and for me I feel like I want those type of nurses that especially are supportive and um, you know their belief systems kind of have to be the same in, a, in an essence um, and for me home birth was that I found out that the midwife has a, has a midwife assistant that comes and helps her um, you know, they're there when, like I said, when you call and they're, you're in active labor. I'm, I'm not, I haven't had a home birth yet myself, but I have photographed home births. So from what I've seen and I've heard of it, I like the way the home birth works with calling your midwife. They come with their midwife assistant, and those are the ladies that will be at your birth. You know them, you've met them. I might not meet the midwife assistant, but I, I know the ladies. Um... My midwife is able to tell me who she works with, particularly as for her midwife assistant, so I can know who to expect will come at my birth. Unlike at a hospital, it's basically whatever nurses are on, on rotation, and those switch out. So if they're working, uh, whatever, an 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. shift, they'll switch out at 8 a.m. So say you, got, you loved your 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. nurse, you were in love with them, but then they switch out at 8 a.m., so you don't know if you'll like your next nurse. So for me, that was important. Reason number three, um, that is I want a natural birth and I feel that the hospital might not have been the best setting for me. Um, after I had her, I learned a lot. And I did, I, as a pregnant mom for the first time, I think I did a lot of research. Um, I took a really holistic home birth, uh, not home birth, I took a really holistic um, childbirth class and I swear that that seriously set me up for an awesome awesome birth with her that being said I still think even after I had her I learned a ton um, you know just about how sometimes um, things might not always go as planned at a birth and you know uh, that being said birth is so unpredictable and you might not always get your birth plan but a, a lot of the time it helps when people are on the same page as you and they, um, they're not opting for something different for yourself. So for me, when I chose a home birth, I, I had questions ready. I knew what I wanted and I, I, I stated that. I talked about that when I sat down with my midwife and, and we were on the same page. And for me, that's really important because I feel like they will do the best that they can to get to let me have the birth that I want, which is important. Um, and with her, I like I said, I got really lucky. Um, but it's funny because when I look back at my birth video that I have from her birth, you know, there were things that could have been done that they that wasn't, and it, it just it could have been done. But because I think, um, you know. I don't know, it's hard. It's hard to, to say if she could have done it differently and delayed cord clamping could have really happened. Um, she did what was in her best judgment and it's not life or death situation where I had to get cord, delayed cord clamping. She came out healthy and that's what really matters. But for me, I how and where I birth is really important because it's what I do for a living. I'm, I'm there in people's birth spaces and I really really um I have a choice now with my second for what I want and I'm going to choose what I think best suits my needs and what I think will be beneficial for myself and my family so that is why I decided to choose a home birth um like I said these are just my opinions and Yay. I feel that um I am lucky that I'm a birth photographer because I've that's helped me a lot learn about the things that I know now that I wish I knew with her because I've been welcomed into women's birth spaces and I've gotten to see the differences between home birth and hospital birth and yeah so I'm excited I'm really excited 
Um, one of my one of my really good friends, um, Breezy. She's she's actually gonna be my birth photographer. So when October rolls around and the birth happens, I'll be excited to share um, a birth video with you folks. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you have any recommendations for videos, I'm always open. I love, love, love to interact with you guys. So we will see you next Friday. Can you say bye? Star.